Well, hello there. Welcome back to the art room. I'm really glad you could make it today. So why am I dressed like this? Well, it's almost spring, and that means it's time to go outside and fly your glider. All you're going to need is a styrofoam plate. In fact, I like mine so much, I wish I could make one big enough to fly in the big art teacher air race. Hmm. Let's get back to the art room so we can start our foam glider. Okay, welcome back to the art room for our foam glider episode. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've really enjoyed flying little gliders and things in my day, but this is the best one I've ever come across. And my 12-year-old self would have just uh, enjoyed making this thing so much. Um, actually, sometimes I feel like I'm still about 12. But uh, anyway, I've been making them all week, and here's a whole stack of them that I've made, painted up in all different art room colors. Uh, so let's set those off to the side for a second. And what we're going to do, I don't usually do this, but I've got a link in the description for the foam flyer. And I surely uh, hope that you have a printer uh, handy around um, and that you can print out this, this sheet. It's really going to help you um, with our glider today. So uh, hopefully you can print that sheet out. And I'm going to get my scissors then and um, go right around the outside of this thing and cut it up. Be kind of careful. Um, and it... Um, oh, there goes the picture of Mr. Shea. Oh, well. He's got, <laughs> just cut that part right off. Uh, later on, we're going to need a little penny. You might notice that there's a little penny image there at the top. And that part's going to be the tail. So I'm going to reinforce these little slits uh, along all of these uh, little pieces of our glider. Now it's time to get our foam plate. It's a standard 9-inch plate. Most plates are about 9 inches. Um, and I'm going to take a, a colored pencil or whatever you have a ballpoint pen worked fine the other day for me and I'm just gonna go around the outside of this and um, begin to uh, outline our um, glider image onto it make sure you get those little notches too uh, so that you can uh, use those later we're gonna need those to cut some slits into so hey there we go pretty good and I'll take this little tail section and line it up right about there you see how those two little marks line up along the wing edge and I'll uh, trace that out too okay hey good alright let me see if I can yeah sharpen that up a little bit so I know right where we're going so with my scissors be kinda careful it's easy to crack if you um, go a little bit too fast with it uh, so um, cut out your glider with your um, scissors and wow it already starts looking terrific doesn't it? I just love the shape of the thing and I'll cut that tail out as well and yeah let's see that's right I, I can't find my uh, my little uh, pieces there my little marks so that's gonna be the rudder for the tail and that's the attachment point right there so when you make that center attachment point, make it a little wider That because that's where we're going to slide our uh, tail. Yeah, right in there. Slide that in and try to stand it up straight. The straighter you can get it, the better your glider will fly. I could have taped it. In fact, I taped my first one in the introduction. That's just fine, but if you have a glue gun, a low temperature glue gun, uh, that's the best way to hook it up and get it on there nice and straight. And um, kind of let that dry set it off to the side so here's my penny that I'm going to tape that on uh, and that little piece that's sticking up out of our pattern that is 
Right below that is the attachment point. Fold down the uh, that little piece over it. And all right, you're ready to fly right now. I mean, if you're not painting it, <laughs> you're ready to fly. And we'll show you some flying scenes here in a few minutes. But hey, we're in art class, so let's paint them. Why not? That's what we're here for. So uh, you could see all my other gliders that uh, I've been flying around. But I'm going to change up my color pattern a little bit this time and uh, go with a blue, green, black um, kind of a chevron design I suppose you could call that and uh, it's acrylic paint uh, so while we're doing this uh, don't use watercolor paint usually I say it's okay but for this one watercolor paint won't stick to uh, foam uh, and neither will watercolor markers I'm afraid to say so but if you do have permanent markers they're gonna be wonderful for this so either permanent markers or acrylic paint uh, are uh, what you need for this one and here I am uh, putting on the those cool black shapes there oh, I love that that's got a, kind of a dramatic look about it don't you think and um, make that tail kind of black okay oh that's super cool and I'll paint my little kind of looks like a little uh, place for our pilot to sit if you paint that little place where the penny is and I'll just go over that and make uh, why not make a couple another little yeah I think I'll make a color another couple of these little um, kind of cool designs on the outside of the wing edge and that's it we're all painted up and ready there so um, at this point I'm going to gather up all my gliders and let's do a little pre-flight check you want to bend up those flaps you see where my thumbs are right there I'm bending those flaps up and make sure that center is uh, your tail is straight and let's head over onto the window and we're gonna throw these out the window here we go oh wow look at that one bro that's great um, I had so much fun uh, sending these outside like that uh, even though I, I had a hard time one of them flew so far away I had a hard time finding it at the end oh yeah okay well hey that was fun and um, I hope you had a good time with that doing our glider episode so remember no matter where you go no matter what you do you've got something to be proud of you're an artist stick with it and we'll see you back here next time in Mr. Shea's art room